one of the things that causes much of the hurt in the church today are those who are reaching the end of their rope. Do you know what it is to reach the end of your rope? Now folks, I have not reached the end of my rope. I'm preaching in hope tonight. I'm preaching in victory. I have victory in my heart. I'm preaching with an exhilarated spirit of God upon me. But I've been there and I know what it's like and some of you are there. It's a spiritual, physical, mental bankruptcy. It's a feeling of being totally drained. It's a feeling that you have no more fight, there's no more resistance left anywhere. You come to a place where you know that without a supernatural infusion of Jesus Christ's strength, you can't go on. How many have been there? How many know what I'm talking about? You say, Lord Jesus, I cannot. There is no way I can go on another step. I've exhausted all my human energy. I've exhausted all my strength. I love you with all my heart. It's not a matter of going to the right or to the left. I'm going straight on with you. But I am physically, mentally, I am drained. I can't go on. I've come to the end of my rope. You know that there has to be something supernatural come to you. Do you know the Word of God is full of stories of great men of God who came to the end of the rope having lost all their human, physical, mental, spiritual strength? Psalms 18 verse 28. I want you to see how David came out into the light. For thou will light my candle. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He's a buckler to all those who trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength. It is who? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken in my hands. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand hath hold me up and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps unto me and my feet did not slip. Do you see what it says? My feet did not slip. You may be weak but you're not going to fall according to the word of God if you will trust him for your strength. Thou hast enlarged my steps unto me, my feet did not slip. Verse 39, for thou hast girded me with strength under the battle. Look at verse 46, the Lord liveth and blessed be my rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. Hallelujah. Psalms 28, you see something of the triumphant voice of David as he comes out of his weakness into the strength of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord because he hath heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusteth in him and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength and he is the saving strength of his anointed. I'm asking God right now before I go a moment further that you and I would ask him to give us a baptism of the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ so that in these last days there will be a people stand not in their own strength not swayed by the spirit of this age of this the corruption, the wickedness, the crime not swayed by the racial prejudice but standing in the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ by faith He is the saving strength of His anointed I need it Brother, sister, we need the strength of the Lord Jesus right now. Lord, give us that strength, Lord. We claim that strength from you. You are the strength of your anointed. We confess that we don't have any strength. We confess that we're weak. We confess, Lord, that without you we can do nothing. Absolutely nothing without you. Hallelujah. Lord, without you we can do nothing. We claim your strength. 38 Psalm. Start reading the third verse. In the day when I cried, thou answered me, and you strengthened me with strength in my soul. And I want you to hear it and hear it loud and clear. In the day when I cried, I cried, thou answeredest me and strengthened me with strength in my soul. Do you know that in the sixth chapter of Psalms, David said, Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. Do you know your weeping has a voice? 
when you get down and you can't even speak, you just, all you can do is cry. You say, I'm so down, I'm so low, I can't even put it in words anymore. That's when the Spirit begins to groan. That's when God begins to pour the strength. He said, He heard the voice of my weeping. You are without strength tonight, don't try to pump it up. Don't try to fight it somewhere else. It's only as you get along with God. If all you can do is get along with God and cry it out. Weep and tell him to watch this. Cry it all out and you'll get up with strength in your heart. He's going to even hear the, the voice of your weeping. Hallelujah.